Hi there, I'm Alexandra Buter. Welcome to an unreal IKEA hack. So today's video has been a long time coming. I'm going to walk you guys through the process of creating this IKEA DIY built-in in our living room with the Hems collection. We worked on this for a couple of weeks, but if you really wanted to get this done in a weekend, I really think you could. Definitely two weeks. We just have a very busy life and a little kid, so we worked on it as we could, but I'm going to share this entire process with you guys, and I am seriously confident this is like just an unbelievable price difference. We've had real built-ins before in our previous house and we really wanted to do something here that wasn't as expensive. And this is a pretty significant size. So honestly, if this was like a true built-in, it would be like $10,000, which is crazy. This is obviously nowhere near that, but still looks incredible. And I'm gonna start with the before just to give you guys an idea of the space that we're working with and then we'll get into all the supplies. And this is what we are starting with. We just have a little cabinet that is too little for the wall, a TV, literally the only thing going on here. We do have a newer home. It's a builder grade home. There's been no personalization, so we've had to slowly add in all that character. So for this project, we used the Hems collection from Ikea, and the Billy collection is very popular for these built-in DIY hack projects. And this is a little comparison of the Billy collection and the Hofsta collection. I just realized pretty much throughout this whole video, I say Hems, it's not the Hems, it's the Hofsta, so sorry about that. Um, I believe there's like open shelves and then ones with doors in the Billy, and this one has some glass shelf options as well, but honestly, the Hems collection I just think looks 10 times better in person especially because it has a little bit of a texture to it so it just has that like higher end of look and quality and a lot of different sizes to choose from. So we have the taller cabinets and the shorter cabinets. And as you guys start to watch us put this stuff together, oh, I did wanna say, by the way, um, I did put a reel on my Instagram of shopping for this stuff. I called it come argue with us at Ikea because who doesn't argue at Ikea? Like it is literally impossible not to. But um, as you guys start to watch us put all of this stuff together, we originally had four of the tall cabinets and then we realized our TV would have to be lifted. It covered the TV and it would just be way too high and not look right so we went back for the shorter cabinets and honestly I think it looks even better this way and even more of like a custom look because it has some dimension to it so I actually really like how it turns out and also the bookcases that we have they technically came with the shorter ones so as we secured it to the wall we did have to drill into the cabinet just to make sure you know everything is like super secure um, but again we have the two tall on the outside the short on the inside and then the bookcases actually came with the shorter ones and you know there's like so many videos and tutorials and Pinterest posts and blog posts on IKEA hacks obviously for all across your home of course we looked at some but there definitely wasn't one that we like followed because everybody's space is different everybody's goals are different um, I feel like pretty much all the ones that we saw it was like way longer than the wall that we had so I've shared a lot of projects over the years um, throughout our houses and homes and you know things we've done on our own and we never know what we're doing you guys like literally the entire time we're just figuring it out so that's kind of how this one went too. So that's what the first bookcase looks like on and I just wanted to point out here we also removed the trim from the wall we'll add in a smaller piece just to help make it look as built in and as custom as possible. 
and it was pretty smooth and seamless until we got to the top. Which so yeah, this was a little bit hacky for sure, but it looks great, which is all that matters. Um, the first thing we did is obviously the bottom board that connects the two bookcases. And we couldn't find a board that was long enough. It's just, it wasn't an option. It's not how they're made. That would go from like the end to the end. So the longest piece is in the middle and it goes about halfway through each of the bookcases. And then we had to build a support so that way the middle it wouldn't warp over time it's gonna you know stay straight across obviously for forever hopefully Um, so we did tons of different supports just to even out and disperse the weight and so that way it's extra secure added shorter boards on the end and then we built the outside that goes across and Chad had a little like snippet of how he was telling me to explain it to you guys so I'm gonna put that in right here you can say I put a one by two on the ceiling connected to the front touch is obviously the one that goes across and then connects to the one that the So after we did get that top part up, it was time to put the trim on to, you know, frame it out and finish it so it looked all built in. And this is honestly the second style trim that we got. The first one, we just could not figure it out. It looked messy and uneven. It was so hard to cut it. So yeah, I just wanted to be, you know, open and honest and tell you like, it's important to be honest with yourself about what your capabilities are. And sometimes you don't know until you're, you know, halfway through it. So. Simple is better for sure if you're not experienced. Um, and if you don't have a saw, I always like to say this in these videos, if you don't have a saw at Home Depot and Lowe's, they generally will cut a lot of things for you if it's just a couple cuts and you know the exact sizes that you need. So I just wanna throw that in there for free if you have a lot of cuts and obviously, um, I don't know if they'll do it, but I know it won't be free at that point. So. You know, there are ways to do this. You don't actually have a saw and all of those different things if you're not comfortable doing that. The next thing that we did was the caulking. And I just like to mention caulking because I know it's like, it's such a simple, small part of the project, but it is unbelievable how much better a project looks once it's caulked. It helps to erase a lot of your mistakes and uneven lines. And it just like really finishes things off and really makes it look like a true built-in. So we caulked here, there, and everywhere. Of course, you know, against the wall, on the inside, on the outside. And it's just, it like surprises me every time we've done so many projects with caulk every time. But I just like to mention that because you will be just blown away once you're in this process if you're gonna do it too. So now for the paint color for the top portion, I just brought in one of the shelves to Home Depot and they color matched it for me. It is very, very, very close. Some lights it looks perfect, some lights it looks a tiny bit off, but I mean, honestly, I'm happy with it. Um, and I knew I needed a significant amount of flat space because I wanted to put on some lights. So we'll talk about those lights in just a minute, but that's why there is, you know, I would say probably around eight or nine inches of the flat space that go all the way around. And now we get into the most fun part, which is all of the personalization. 
and here I am telling you what I'm doing without the microphone on. So I went to go pick up some supplies to finish up this project. I need some gold paint, hardware, and then some decorative items. And we're going to use a mix of items we already have to decorate the shelves and some new items I find today. So now let's get into these battery operated lights. Believe it or not, there's no wiring involved. And when I first got these in, I was really surprised on how black those lines were. It doesn't look like that online. And these do come in three colors. I know there's a white, I can't remember the last one, but of course I'll link them below. Um, and so I painted them with the gold on the outside. I covered as much black as possible. Very tedious, very time consuming, but also very worth it. And they also have the wall sconce kind where it's like a traditional, you know, sconce with a lampshade. Love those. They just wouldn't fit for this project. And also the rope, we did it only about like an inch and a half, but I think it almost has like three feet of rope with it. So they would look so cool on either side of your bed. I just, there's so many ways to use these and they look so cool and anybody can put them up for sure. They have a little remote and I just, I love them you guys. I love them so much. It really helps to elevate this entire project. Once we had those lights up, I also switched out the hardware. And as you can see, I have a gold knob. Those are also from Lowe's. A little thing, but it makes a big difference. And that's something I've talked about for years. It's not, you know, like I feel like everybody knows this, but man, when you switch out the hardware and furniture, it elevates it so much. It can look twice as expensive and twice as custom and just, it's a night and day difference. So I always recommend that on, you know, pretty much any furniture that you buy, just some cool and unique hardware. I believe those were around four to five dollars each and I think that the tones of gold also and the lights and the hardware is like perfect so that was definitely a win. Now we are getting into hanging some pictures in that empty space above the TV. So I at first was thinking, should I put an art lamp above the TV before I decided on the ones above the bookcases? But ultimately the lights on the bookcase, they just made so much more sense. So I found these three pictures to fill this space and I really was, I don't know, I, I was hoping I would find something because, you know, it's a very specific amount of space, but I do think these look nice here. They fit the tone. They're not warm tone. They definitely have that cool feel and they have a lot of the same colors and the items you'll see me decorate with. So all in all, they add a nice touch without taking too much of the attention away from anything else. I'm going to wipe down the shelves and then we will get to styling them and it is beyond satisfying. And now we're going to get into styling these shelves and oh, gosh, I cannot stop staring at these shelves, you guys. I love them so much. For me, this is like a non-seasonal look. I'm filming this and posting it in the fall. So for like the first real reveal, I didn't want to put, you know, pumpkins or anything up there, but guys, I will be staring at these all day, every day for like forever. That is how much I love them.
And now that those shelves are styled, let's get into our after clips to show you the finished space, the finished project, and how everything has come to life. You know, we've been slowly but surely working on that character aspect in this home that I mentioned in the intro, and this just adds so much of that. I'd love to recreate this over and over again throughout the whole house. All of the colors have come together so seamlessly, and I hope you guys find this as satisfying as I do, especially with where we started. And that before and after you guys, like you really just cannot compare the difference. I am beyond happy with it and definitely recommend this. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I just feel like it's such a huge step in the right direction of really personalizing this home and making it our own and elevating it in a way that we can actually accomplish. So. Um, I'm going to link recent videos and more down below for you. I'm working on a laundry room makeover for the next like significant project on my channel that I can't wait to share. And also I do have the second round of Influencer Launchpad. Um, it's going to launch on October 10th. So I will link that below if you're at all interested in building an online audience or becoming an influencer. I would love to teach you how to do that. And yes, just definitely don't miss out on that description box. I try and fill it up for you. And with that being said, please like and subscribe if you haven't yet I would appreciate it so much I'm slowly but working or slowly but surely working my way to 400,000 subscribers so if you would help me get there I would really appreciate it and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video bye